Howdy folks, so if you're subscribed to my channel, you probably saw that just a few months back I reviewed Adobe's new Rotobrush 2 tool inside of After Effects, which harnesses the power of AI and machine learning to really make rotoscoping less of a pain. I was really impressed with the results, and today I'm actually going to be looking at a very similar tool and I kind of want to compare. This is called Green Screen. It's a browser-based application from Runway ML, and it does the same thing. It utilizes machine learning to make rotoscoping much, much less painful. The cool thing about this is it's all online, extremely intuitive, easy to use. It's very accessible. Anybody can use it. It's a really good price. Okay, this is the shot I'm gonna be working with here. It's just a teddy bear walking along the porch here. And what I wanna do is isolate the bear and then cut myself out of this shot. So to help do that, I actually shot a clean plate as well. So let's jump over to green screen. So here's the app. I'm gonna click on start editing. Now I can see the interface here and I'm gonna click on upload and I'm gonna grab that bear walking one original. This is one of the cool things is that once you upload your video, kind of all the heavy lifting is handled on their end and you don't have to worry about your system specs. Okay, so this is uploaded. That took not very long at all. It's a four second clip. Now I do have a premium version of this and it allows me to work with 4K clips natively. So this is a 4K clip, it's four seconds in length. So I'm basically gonna import this and then export it as 4K as well. If you sign up for a free account, you're gonna only be able to work with SD clips. And again, the pricing on this is very affordable. All right, I'm gonna go grab my clip now that it's uploaded and I'm gonna simply drag it and drop it over here. All right, so once again, this is in beta but I hope they don't add much more to the screen here, this interface, because the user interface is very intuitive. I really like the layout of it. You can see uh, to click, it says click on region to add mask. So it's gonna be as simple as clicking here. I have an include button and then I have the exclude and then I can look at the background and then I have the timeline down here. So really, really simple, streamlined, love it. Now let's see how it actually applies our mask. So I'm gonna click right here in the middle of my bear with my playhead at the beginning. Okay, you can see it's really, really fast. Now let's go in and take a look. I can hold the H key to grab the hand tool and then move this around. So I can see a little bit on my hand here, but I actually just want to kind of render this out and see what it looks like. So it's gonna track the mask. Let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna let this play real time. Hashtag no edits. Okay, so you can see there's the first pass. Whoop, it's still tracking here. So this is the first pass, um, just one click. I didn't do any excluding or anything like that. It's just the one include click on the middle of the bear's body. So you can see there's a little bit of gunk over here on my hand, but you can see that that, <laughs> that did pretty well. So now what I can do is I can go and um, click over here where it's showing my hand and I'm gonna click on the exclude button and see if I can get rid of this. Okay, it looks like it did a little bit. And now to help um, the machine learning out, I can just keep doing, adding some keyframes at different locations. And you can, you can see as I move the playhead, it's actually updating based on the other keyframe that I added, I imagine. So it says keyframe saved. And you see how it's automatically updating? That's very cool. Oh, here we go. See if it updates that. Okay, it updated that a little bit. Let me go way down here. And sometimes, uh, it looks like it really didn't exclude anything there. Let's see if I can click it again. No. Now I can click on background and take a quick look. And that's pretty, pretty amazing for such a short period of time. Okay, now I'm gonna click on the export button and I'm gonna quickly change a name here. We're gonna call this Bear Walking Alpha. Now down here, I can actually change the background before I export it. There's a bunch of different chroma key colors I can apply here. If I want, I can put my bear uh, like he's walking to heaven or something, I don't know. <laughs> That's so amazing, oh man. It's really cool for uh, how quick this is. This is one of the really cool things that makes it more accessible are these different chroma colors. So I can quickly slap any of these colors on here. And then if I'm working in say iMovie, once I export this out, I can just apply the green screen effect to um, key that out. But I'm gonna bring this into um, After Effects and Premiere Pro. So I only need to export this alpha channel. 
And again, if you're using a free version of green screen, you're only gonna be able to work it with SD clips. Pretty incredible. So now I'm gonna export this and it's gonna place this in my assets here on runway. All right, so now I have my file rendered out here that didn't take very long at all. I can click right here and go to download. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump over to an After Effects project and let me just show you really quickly what we've got going on here. So, so here's the original clip that I shot and the original clean plate that I shot and here's the alpha that I got from Runway. Um, now I can just drop all these into an After Effects project and I'm gonna grab the original clip. We'll create a new comp based off of this. So here I got the original and I'm gonna drop my clean plate just beneath that one so that when we cut this out, you know, it'll cut me out. And I'm gonna grab this alpha channel now and I'll put the alpha channel at the top. So now we have our alpha channel. And now it's as simple as grabbing my original clip and setting the track mat to luma mat. And there we go, now we have our comp. Now let's take a look at this. One reason I wanted to use the bear is because there's detail, there's a lot of detail in the fur on the edges. And as you can see, the machine learning did a pretty incredible job, specifically on the right side. If you look at the leg over here and the right side of the bear's arm, this job was so fast and the edges here really are impressive. Now while the edges are looking great, now the bear looks a little out of place. It actually looks like we shot it on a green screen. And the reason for that is when you cut the bear out, we lose the shadow, which is really making the, the composite work. So one thing that I would ideally want to do is do some further refinements inside of After Effects. Like I can add, a, I'm going to quickly add a mask here. Like what I would do is I would grab this original clip and bring it over top here. And I'm essentially going to want to mask out um, this bear's body except for around my arm and around my legs basically just kind of garbage map myself out So I will be able to retain the shadows of the bear and I'm going to be able to retain all the natural edges around here So you'll only see the edges of the runway um, the runway render or comp right around here, which will be ideal, you know So let's just do that real quick down and dirty And I can maybe do like a feather of like 200 pixels. I just don't want to see my hand in there now check it out, I've got those shadows and I've got these really, really clean edges. It's basically the real edge there, you can see that. And then right over here we have our runway roto edge. So pretty incredible the look you can get. Now let's say you don't want to work in After Effects, you just want to do this in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So I've got the video clips here, I'm going to bring all these in. And I'm essentially going to do the exact same thing using the track mat key. So here I have my original, let's create a new sequence based off of that original. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'll grab the uh, clean plate and bring it underneath and then I'll grab the alpha, drop the alpha on top. And now you go to effects and you search for track mat key. You apply that onto the original and then you go into effect controls and you tell that to use the mat from video track three and then you set it to a luma mat. And then voila, I've done this roto job without jumping into after effects at all. And I can also do masking inside of Premiere Pro, you know, just take a couple more steps here and then mask that out to retain the shadows, retain the edges on most of the bear. All right, so there you have it. That's Runway ML's green screen browser-based rotoscoping app. Really amazing the results I got here. You don't have to be a VFX artist to do this. And as you can see, with just a little bit of extra knowledge of how to do some garbage mats or garbage mask in both Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, you can retain those shadows and you can retain some of the actual edges of my comp here. So it's really accessible. This was extremely easy to use. The results were really, really good. And again, remember, this is in beta, so it's only gonna get better. There's more updates coming. I'm really excited to see what they do with it. I just really, really, really hope that they keep the interface the way that it is now, because it's really, once again, the accessibility of that. It's, um, it's really amazing. So let me know what you think down in the comment section of this tool. Is it something that you might wanna incorporate in your workflow? And I'm sure the folks over at Runway would love to hear your opinions as well. I suggest you head over there and sign up for a free account. You can start playing around with some SD clips. And then if you like it, you can sign up for a premium account, which once again is very affordable. And then you can work natively in 4K. And just go check out some of their other tools. They got some cool stuff going on over there. All right, I'm out of here.